Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss about received task. Okay, and the last task is manual task. Okay, let's jump into the sample. Okay, so what is that and uh, what are the stuffs? So what is received task actually? So received task will wait. Okay, until it it's got some input actually. Okay, so maybe the received task is waiting for somebody. Okay, so it is waiting for one guy. Okay. So if the guy is arrived, then only the receive task will pro process. Okay. So until that, it will be stop on that phase on the stage. Okay. So that is what receive task. What is manual task? Okay. So manual task, it will not do any stuff. Okay. So it is just a dummy task actually. So when we will use manual task is for example. Okay. So you want to print a document. Okay. Okay. You just print it out. Okay, and there may be some manual work is there, right? So once you take the printout, you can maybe do the signature. You can ask the customer to put the signature and seals. You can get that. So these are the stuffs you are doing manually, right? To mentioning that in the process, actually, we will go for a manual task. Okay, got it, right? So manual task is nothing but if you want to do some manual stuff, okay, other than this automation, other than this process, if you want to do some manual stuff, then we need to go for a manual task. Okay. So we are not going to use that for maybe in big application. If you want to do some manual stuff, we will use that. Okay. So, but nothing, no use of that. Okay. So just to do uh, visualization, we can show that. Okay. There is so be some manual work is there. That is what to show that we are just keeping. So it will not stop the process. It will not do anything. Okay. So, okay. That is the stuff actually. Then the receive task. Receive task as I told it will wait for some person or it will wait for some variables once that variables come into the picture then it will uh, it will go in it will further it will move on okay let's see that actually okay so let me remove this I think we know it let me remove this as well okay so instead of this let me what I will do I will create a task okay let me change this to receive task okay so let me open panel mm. receive task let me give the name so that it will be very easy for us to understand right okay global message reference so it means that it has to wait for some message or it has to wait for some variable okay let me tell okay mm. gender uh, maybe i will tell that uh, to this guy uh, process done okay this is one variable okay if this variable is received to in this state okay then only this guy will end up this process okay otherwise this guy will not allow this process to end up okay so hope you got it right so what is received task if something this variable whatever variable he is using if something that variable values came then only this guy allow us to complete the task complete this whole process otherwise it will be in this state only so whatever how many process you are creating but if you are not passing the variable to the process it will not get done okay it will not this guy will not allow okay so the variable name uh, maybe you can change it out so just i am just mentioning is a uh, okay maybe is done is done okay Okay, this is the variable I'm going to use it out. Okay, yeah, let's see how we can work it out. Maybe if if this variable is not uh, arrived, so if you see that our process, we are not sending that variable anywhere, right? Correct. So is done. We are we sending anywhere? No, right? So how this process will get end? It will not get end, right? Maybe if you are sending, that's fine. If not sending, what needs to be done? So maybe what I will do. Uh, I will create a timer. Okay, so let me put one of the um, what is what I'll put. Uh, okay, let me put timer boundary event. Okay, so this will do what it will do. I don't worry about much on this actually. So why I am keeping this? So if not received the task, right? So it has to go for another task okay so that may be a some user task okay so that time as a user right so we can give that variable right 
so i can give the variable i can pass the variable boolean i can tell that yes done or not done is is done i can give it out okay so maybe defaultly let me give it false okay don't worry about it much on this so this what is that actually so i am going to wait event waiting for uh, maybe 60 second okay so that is what okay id should not contain spaces okay name okay okay so this is like a wait event okay so don't worry about it so the timer definition i am just giving yes here so it has to wait until 60 seconds right so for that what we can give it as pt okay 60 yes 60 second okay so that is what this is a standard format actually so i'm just giving that so what basically will do it will come until this this stuff it will come until receive task then it will not go for end task so what it's it needs to get the field variable as we are not passing this variable it will be stopped here itself what i'm doing okay wait for 60 second okay then create one task okay after creating that the task from there i'm just giving the value whatever value this guy is expecting right so that value i'm injecting into this process okay is done so once this guy got actually this is a task once this guy got that variable okay okay once this guy got the variable it will this guy will complete it it, it re receive the is done variable so that it will get complete okay so hope you understood right let's see in example okay let me save this let me go and let me run this project okay so receive task is nothing but it will wait for some person okay so here i need to wait for a person called uh, is done is done is one of the variable okay it has to wait for that variable so this variable we are not passing from any of these places so i am trying to create one more task for the 60 second okay then from there i am trying to pass that variable okay from from there i am just passing the variable so once after 60 second once i complete this task immediately this task will get entered okay let's see okay so yeah started tomcat okay let me go into browser localhost 8080 let me log in as we know okay so let me go into cockpit right let's see that okay so group to process definition task planning okay so okay stuff that's fine okay yeah now let me go into task list what i will do basically let me create a task called task planning right let me create a start process okay so okay task learning okay so let me go and create one more task okay so now two tasks okay let me go and create one more task three tasks right so what i'll do let me go into cockpit page i'm opening a new tab okay so if you go here so you can see that three tasks are waiting in this place correct exactly okay so okay what i have to do let me open any of the task let me claim this task let me give the value as 25 okay so three tasks is waiting in this stage only one task i am claiming and completing okay so once i complete that you can see only two tasks let's let's go and refresh this page see only two tasks was here right so the third task was in this place now right so what it will basically it will do it will wait for a 60 second and this will go and move to here actually so this one has to go here so two task in this stage so one task in this stage but after 60 second it has to go here from here i will give the input for this guy so once this guy i give the input to this guy this guy will get complete the task all right let let's refresh yeah still not at one minute completed let's see that okay as of now only two tasks right so this guy has to create one more user task so 
still that guy is keeping so receive task is waiting so still nobody giving me the variable like that he is telling and waiting so is done is the variable he is expecting nobody giving okay maybe another 10 to 15 seconds i think we should give it a 30 second instead of 60 seconds okay that's fine let's wait for it the waiting moment will be awesome right what happened let me see the logs okay so the 25 input i gave it so that was printed that's great but still this guy is holding that still one minute is not at over yeah okay so one minute to over so this one this event is create doing this event is sending this one to this user task now if we go and refresh here see i can see the three tasks right okay so now let me complete this task user task one right ours is this one this one is user task one okay this is a normal user task so let me see is done or not it is asking right so let me click and let me say that yeah i done you just complete it okay once i done now see it will it will send this task to here and it will end this flow okay so you can see only two if i refresh the page see got it so now two here if i claim any of this and if i give the input as some 10, 10 and if i complete it now one will be in this state in this place and another one will be go for receive task right got it so it will wait next 60 second then it will go here then if i pass the variable maybe before 60 second if i can able to pass this variable this task will get complete actually so what we can do also we can go into postman and we can pass the variable into this process okay so that maybe i will tell you in the future uh, cla classes videos how we can do pass the variables from the variable uh, from the postman tools okay so that also i will tell you okay don't worry about it okay so this is the way the what is that uh, our receive task is working okay so let's see that final as user task right uh, not user task mm, what is that last one? manual task okay so what i will do let me create a new workflow diagram for that okay so okay this is having the first task it is to print the print the print the profile okay let me give this as a user task okay then let me give the another task that is like a manual task okay so what this guy will do uh, this is just like a sign sign the contract okay so this is like a print the contract so this should be the signature you can see that this is a manual manual task okay let me create another task okay upload the signed contract okay that's all this also maybe let me keep it as a user task then let me end up the flow okay so okay let me save that for a manual task running nothing nothing here actually so okay so just i'm saying that okay uh, so maybe these two places our user interaction is record this places it will go on okay so it's like a manual task so when people are maybe doing that actually so they want to print the documentation and in the visualization while they are seeing they should know that okay in this place they are signing okay after that this guy will upload the signing signed document okay this type of use cases will go for manual task okay so but nothing we can do here actually properties also if you see that only id and names are there right nothing else actually for this okay so for this this is a common one this is for this only id and name nothing else sign sign the contract is the name whatever we already typed here so id whatever you want you can give nothing else nothing else you can do it using this okay that's all guys this is called manual task okay so in this video we saw about receive task and manual task okay thanks for watching bye bye